Eh? Not today, Chama. You will see why. I will watch him again. Abi, Chama, another round. Who's that boy? Not that boy now. Hey, something different again, sir. Changing your car is easy. Log on to our website www.cars45.com to get started. Welcome to the interview segment of Marketing Edge on TV. Today we have Maposa Agri, the MD of Kanta. We'll be talking about issues surrounding marketing and advertising as usual. Thank you very much for your time on the show. Thank you, Tolu. Let's start this way. How do you assess Nigeria's marketing uh, and advertising environment? Well, um, Nigeria has come a long way, you know. So when you're looking at the marketing and uh, advertising environment, it's just part of a bigger whole. So things have not been so easy for Nigeria in the past few years, but as well as been part of the older restructuring of the whole global economy and the marketing and advertising industry has not been spared. So we see quite some challenges here, but also some opportunity. Because uh, when you look at it, the whole uh, change that is happening within the FMCG or packaged goods industry is affecting a lot of the traditional advertising research strategy agencies and also the marketing companies, the advertisers themselves. And um, this is something that it also affects us. So it's all part of a global economy make a lot of change, changing structure from FNCG, from manufacturing to technology. So we do feel these changes locally. Back to the um, research reports now, how would you say that you know our conceptual habits with that to research reports, how well are we doing? So, Nigeria is a, is a story of many faces. There are some sectors and some clients within Nigeria who are who consume the best and want to use the best of what's available in the world. And you'll also find some sectors of Nigeria that do not appreciate what research could provide. Um, so if you try to paint Nigeria with one brush and say, oh, research is still backward or the people don't use, clients don't use, that is not um, um, a fact because there are some of our clients here that we work with here that we know that are part of multinational systems that we know in the whole world these clients buy more research in Nigeria than any other part of the world and these are global companies so when you find a company A which is present in the US and present in Nigeria using more research in Nigeria than they use in, in the US then you know that you cannot just say Nigerians uh, do not use research. However, there is still a lot of room for growth. So there are still a lot of sectors that could grow. Sectors like, like, like agriculture, like we could do a lot more for government. We've been very active in playing a role uh, within the government uh, sector uh, for some states in Nigeria. A lot more states could do a lot. We are very active in doing some work for certain federal ministries. We could do a lot more for the other ministries. We've done a lot of work where we are working with development agencies, but it's not all of them that we work with that do intense work and that make good use of this. So it's a story of many faces. Hmm. And it's not like the pace of research, building, equity building, and how it impacts on the bottom line in all of this. Yes, what, when, when, we, when we look at brand equity and um, company growth and profitability, this is, uh, this is a relationship that has always bothered quite a lot of CEOs mm -hmm. and um, also bothered sometimes shareholders who look at the money that is being spent on building the equity. I'll say that uh, brands that have got stronger equity that have got a stronger presence in the mind, a desirability amongst the consumers, a presence in the market. We have seen growth better in terms of financial returns. We have seen quicker and better growth than those without that same presence or strength in the mind. When you look at our brand Z, for instance, which is our global 
it's a, it's a global project that we do that kind of shows um, a whole portfolio that we have selected as, 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 um, as WPPA counter. These companies with strong equity have surpassed the growth of other companies without, with, outside the same league significantly. So there is a directly proportional positive relationship between strong equity and growth. Hmm. Very good one there. But some advertisers are still having this low cool attitude when it comes to research. Why is that happening? Well, it's a question of uh, not understanding. Um, and it's, it, 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 like, like I said, it, it's always many faces. You find th those that support and those that do not. And for me, I take it back to, to the whole story of the marketing evolution. So, so marketing came to the face three different stages. You know, there, there was the stage where whatever you'd produce, you'd sell, you know, when you Ford and all this. And then to what, what the, how good is your, your product, whoever has got a good product, uh, can sell to whoever can sell better, will win, to whoever can, can advertise better, whatever it is. Unfortunately, when we turned on to that phase of marketing, where, 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 it, where we were now actually transforming to the marketing as we understand it now, where we say, okay, marketing, to summarize it, is your, how you play around your products, your pricing, your, your promotion, or the distribution. A lot of the leaders in marketing actually came from advertising. And they would understand one part of marketing and not the entire entirety of marketing. We also had some marketing leaders coming from sales. They understand one part of marketing and not the entirety of marketing. So these these sectors unfortunately would not appreciate strategy as being central to their success as they as um as they would appreciate the areas where they're coming from, be it advertising or, or sales. So for me I would see there is the problem that, that we have right now. So instead of you spending time to understand what's going into your advert, testing it and seeing its success before you finalize it you'd be more interested in seeing how creative it feels to you so that you run and you, and, and you run the advert. Instead of you promoting the whole strategic approach to your marketing, if you're from the sales background, you'd be more interested in how many discounts am I giving, how many promotions am I giving, how many sales people do I have in the force. So it's, I think a big challenge we have in marketing is the background of how it developed um, as a function within a business. So brand owners are all about how can they become the centric for brand owners? So for brand owners, we say marketing is simple. Marketing, to summarize, is a, is a marketing concept is about following the needs of the people. How do you follow the needs of the people? You understand the people. You, a brand is not a brand outside the land of the consumer. So what makes it a brand that we talk about is because it exists in the minds of the consumer. So how much more you own the mind of the consumer determines the strength of your brand. So what better activity to engage in than focusing on your presence and nature in the mind of a consumer. So once you're brand, you're brand centric, you means you own and you understand the consumer better, which means success is guaranteed because you have a better ability to meet their needs and anticipate their needs. Which is why you'd find companies like Apple succeeding because of that understanding of the unique needs of these consumers ahead of others. Now let's now look at possessing consumer insights. Does that connect us in the market? Uh, consumer insights, I want to say, is one side of it. The whole game is about understanding consumer and market insights. It's a two-way thing. It's a two-way thing. It's a two-way thing when you're looking at it outwardly. So you need to understand the consumer, how the mind ticks, what makes them tick, and how you can engage with them. And yet on the other end, you need to understand how the market is. How can you get your pricing right? How can you get your distribution? Getting your trucks somewhere in time. Getting, getting your trucks refrigerated for those things that need refrigerated. 
making sure that the product is available at the right time is the other side. So you, the whole game is about aiming to build desirability in the minds of consumers and then being master at your business basics in terms of um, pricing and distribution as the other arm. It is these two arms that uh, determine your success um, in marketing and your business generally. Let's now assess the centricity that determines the average margin a consumer at point of, point of purchase and during purchase process. Oh, do you mean the, the process the Nigerian consumer yes. goes through? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, so if you look at my earlier position where I say marketing is looking at two elements, yes. like the, the, the desirability, desirability in the minds of consumers and actually being master at your business basics. So once you've built that desirability, whether it is bought or not bought and how it is actually bought de determines on your activity at the point of purchase. So you need to have, if it's a drink, and people drink cold things, your drink has to be cold, it has to be the right price, it has to be with the right, in, within the right package or the right scale, which I desire at that particular point. If you've got everything right, but it's not in the right package that I desire at that particular point, then somebody else will get it. You know, there was a time when when you'll be in traffic, I don't know now, really. Um, I, 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 I've not checked my numbers now. But when, there was, when you're in traffic, there was a particular brand of cool drink that everybody would buy. It is because it, it would always be cold and because it would be in the package, which was easy, you didn't need bottle. So it would be in a package where you could just take, open, and drink. And another thing, it was at a price point where you don't need to change. Bring one note, pay somebody, get your drink, you move. So the point of purchase is really about you understanding those, those unique needs and the moments and then making sure you, you get your business basics right. Make sure you have the right price and you are present in the right and desired format, suitable for that occasion. Well, that is a wrap on Marketing Edge on TV this week. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next week. But before then, continue to stay safe. desires of success it's a great environment it makes the tax man only at their own peril under the oversight of this board the FRS will continue its transformation into a premier revenue collecting agency for up to date and accurate information on mobilization duties and rights under the various taxes in Nigeria not tax matters on CBC News Tuesday to 30 p.m. to 7 p.m.